What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 10 of my Chesterfield career mode. And I haven't uploaded in a couple weeks. Uh, I think it's only been like a week and a couple days. And I've been really sick. I'm still a little sick. My nose has been stuffed. Uh, my sinuses have been going on, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I couldn't do anything for like a week or so. But I'm back. And I don't know how many more episodes of this there's going to be because I will be getting the Xbox One uh, hopefully around Christmas time. Um, I do get paid Friday, maybe I'll get it then, um, but it'd be nice just to get it for Christmas, save $500, you all know how that goes, but, um, yeah, I have a nice little three game episode today, and this is in the J-Paint Trophy, I believe, either that or the FA Cup, because that's the two, the two cups we're still in, so, uh, we have a J-Cup Trophy game today, and an FA Cup game, and we also have one league game at the end. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I do play Marshall because I want to get him some play time. Even though he's, I think it's like 57 overall. He's very low overall. He's actually a very good player because he plays uh, pretty strong. He's, he's kind of a small guy, but uh, he doesn't really play like it. But right here, um, they're in my score. But uh, my keeper makes a nice little save even though it was right at him. And yeah, that wraps up that. And I have a couple highlights. I decided to show more highlights um, just because. But Banks right here. Last episode, he scored a nice little finish with his weak foot, but he could not repeat it again. Uh, that just flew way over the top of the net. So uh, yeah, 14th minute right here. Nice little passing play. And that should have been a goal, but Nandelet did not score that. Um, I've not been pleased with him at all. I don't know how much longer he's going to stay in the team. Maybe the next transfer window, I'll try to get another striker to fill his place because we did lose that one striker because he was loaned out and he had to go back. But Morsey, what a finish in the 56th minute. Morsey has been a terrific player for this team. He has seven goals in all competitions, and um, I... I don't know why I took that shot, but I'm glad I did because I saw a little bit of open space, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try for this shot, and Morsey showed me why I, why I should have taken that shot. But that wraps up that game right there, 1-0 to Exeter City, um, and there we go. That's nice. We have six shots. They have four, and that was the FA Cup, so no, not a whole lot of big names still in there, but, you know, Scunthorpe's in there, and... They're in our division, and they're actually, I think, second or third place. So, yeah. And <laughs> that shot by Morsey was just brilliant. I, I was so happy whenever I scored that. And, um, yeah, we do come up in the J Paint Trophy right here. So, I don't know what the rounds of all of these cups are. Uh, they're kind of annoying just because um, I'd rather play the league games just to get through the season so I could progress all my players and stuff like that. Uh, but at the same time, winning these cup games gives us cash so we can spend an offseason, uh, even though it's not a whole lot. And right there I was disconnected from Xbox Live. But no worries, uh, that doesn't affect the game or my Elgato or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and make some changes a little bit because this was just a couple days after the last game. And Nandalit will be sitting for Richards. Richards is actually a really good player. I think he's one of those players that we were close to getting rid of at the beginning of the season. Because he's pretty up there in age. I think he's like 32 uh, <laughs> around there. So I definitely need to get another striker in the offseason. Uh, you know, whether it's from my youth academy or something like that. Or if I just go out and buy one. Because we don't have a whole lot of money at this point. I think we... I only have a couple hundred thousand, um, but, uh, you know, in this game, you can get a, a decent striker or, or any position for just a few hundred thousand, so uh, we'll see how that goes, and uh, I will need to get another outside back, whether it be a right back or a left back, because at this point, we just have Smith and... Um, Talbot, I think his name is, or something like that, and, um, you know, they're good, but at this point, the only backup we have, and look at this for bad luck, uh, I should have taken away once, and I overrun him right there, and right there, he kicks it, bounces right back to him, three unlucky bounces right there, uh, but really nothing I can do about that, that was in the fourth minute, um, so no worries, and Richards right here, almost got taken away, but did not, 
and I pass it right there to O'Shea. O'Shea to Ryan. I thought he was going to score that. Uh, I believe that was his weak foot, and that would have been a nice little finish. But uh, we do get a corner, and this team has been decent with corners this season so far. But he, they do not put that one away. So, uh, yeah, Richards and Gondolet are two decent strikers uh, right here. I just have to stop for that right there. Richards with a fantastic weak foot shot. Uh, and that, that ball actually kind of floated over the keeper. I had to watch that again because it was kind of an odd shot. If you watch it, it kind of just floats over the keeper. Um, but that's a fantastic finish right there. So that's 1-1 in the 37th minute. Skipping ahead to the 50th minute right here. Ryan takes a shot, bounces off. Ryan with another chance right there. Goal in the 51st minute. Um, you know, a little bit of luck, but I guess that's payback for their luck at the beginning of the game. So, uh, yeah, anyhow, for midfield... Uh, my midfield is looking pretty good right now. I don't think I want to change up rounds too much because I don't have a whole lot of old people at, at the midfield position because I have Marshall, I have Devitt, I have McSheffrey, um, all these great backups and first string players. So I don't think I really need to focus on them at all. And O'Shea is one of my favorite players on the team along with Morrissey. So, um, yeah, at this point, there's, I'm, I'm still running the 4-4-1-1. I should probably uh, go back to my custom formations because for some reason it didn't save whenever I adjusted at the beginning of the season. So there we go, 2-1 in the J-Paint Trophy, and still not a whole lot of big names in this in this uh, tournament, which is fine because we don't need to be coming up against any big teams because we would not go uh, very well against them so right there we do get uh, I think that says 13,000 uh, you see it's really not a whole lot but it's a little bit I mean it's just that extra incentive to win because if you win the tournament you do get a nice little bonus so um, yeah we do come up against a league game right here I'm not sure who is against what place they're in or anything like that um, Newport so yeah it's against Newport I, I decided to um, decided to save it right there because it does freeze every once in a while and you know, I don't want to have to play those last two games over again and anyhow you going back to the Xbox one um, this this career mode I'm actually really enjoying so it's gonna be kind of upsetting whenever I get the Xbox one because the the career modes don't transfer over which is pretty upsetting because uh, I've invested a little bit into this because I I got that I hired the the star scout or whatever that is and that's how I got Marshall right there they did foul me I go ahead and put Roberts on it because he has a little bit more power and decent penalties um, right there keeper didn't move 29th minute Roberts with a nice little penalty but anyhow um for Xbox One I think I know what team I'm going to use for that because um, I wanted to do a pr uh, BPL team because I think they're better and it's more interesting to watch I think because a lot of people like watching the bigger teams just to see what people go for as far as what they should work on and who they sell and stuff like that um, I'm not going to let you guys know who I'm going to play as, but it's a team I, I really enjoy, both in real life and in FIFA. All the players are very good, and I like the, the depth they have in that team. So, um, you know, maybe eventually I'll do a Chesterfield career mode again, but for now, I will continue to play this career mode until I get the Xbox One. But that wraps up episode 10, everybody. Thanks for watching. Three games, three wins. Couldn't ask for any better result right there. I think we got about 29,000 for that win. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Episode 11 will be out shortly.